Hello and welcome back to another edition of Check It Out. Okay friends, let's talk Nest thermostats and why they might be giving you this delayed right here. Sometimes mine says delayed and says a certain amount of time. Sometimes it just says delayed. This happens in the cooling mode. And if you're having this problem, I'll show you how to fix it. So these Nests, here's part of the problem real quick and I'll show you how to fix it. The Nest is sold at Home Depot. A lot of people just wire it up the same way as they wired their old thermostat. Here's the problem, your old thermostat had batteries in it. This one does not. So this unit takes power from your furnace and it needs an extra wire to go to this guy right here. So here's how you can check it, is if you go to right here and go to settings, click on it. So turn it until we get to, okay, equipment, there it is. So go to equipment. When you go to equipment here, here's what you're gonna see. So you have yellow for cooling right here. And then you have this green, which is your fan. Don't be tricked, it's a fan, it's not power. The red is power right here. Your white right here is heat. Common is really what we need. So that's what this C is right here. And that common right there will let this unit right here pull some power from the unit, a very small amount, low voltage, and it sends it to this thermostat right here. And then the common completes the circuit. Well, how do we do it? Step number one is you need to turn off the power to your furnace. For this demonstration, I'm gonna leave my power on. I know what I'm doing on this. Don't do what I'm doing though. Turn your power to your furnace off first. And then we need to see if we get lucky and have an extra wire right here. So let's take a look. I'm gonna pull this guy off. And if you look right here, see how I don't have anything hooked up to this C right here? But if you look, the person who did this before me, I can tell it was a homeowner because look, they labeled all the wires. If you know what you're doing, you don't even need to label them. So if you're a homeowner and you don't know what you're doing, go ahead and label them. But see how this blue wire right here is coiled up? So what I'm gonna do is take this blue wire connected to the C, common, and then when you open up your furnace, just track down where the low voltage goes, these wires right here, and you're gonna see another blue one up in your attic area or wherever your furnace is, and you just need to hook up the blue to the C. And then we've completed a circuit, right? The blue one to here, the blue one in your furnace, and once you do that, you'll have a full complete circuit. And the good news is, again, this unit does not have a battery inside it, uh, so you don't need to worry about changing them out. And now the small amount of electricity will get pulled from your furnace. So it's really an awesome system, but I think a lot of people out there are hooking it up wrong. Okay, so next, I know where my furnace is and it's in my attic. So these are some tools that I'm gonna use. First of all, I'm gonna use gloves like these guys right here. The main reason I use these gloves is this white ceiling that I painted so nice. If I don't use gloves, the oil on my hands really makes a mess up there. Even when I think my hands are clean, it works way better. These gloves work fantastic and they're pretty cheap. I'll put a link to all these different products down in the description below. You can check them out. This is an also an awesome tool. So a nice headlight so both my hands will be free, but I'll still have a flashlight up there. Some nice little screwdrivers. Here's a regular standard and a Phillips. These are going to work really handy when it comes to um, using that low voltage, have very small screws. So these are perfect. Again, they're down in the description. A good six in one is always really handy to have and also a good respirator. If you don't like wearing respirators, try spending a couple extra dollars and get these ones right here that have this little device in the front and it makes it so when you breathe out the air, it comes out of this really easy. And that way it's not as hard and, and cumbersome on your lungs when you're trying to breathe in and out. All right, let's go head up into the attic and take a look. Okay, so I found my furnace, and now the first thing I'm gonna do is actually unplug it. So double check that you are unplugging or turning off the power to your furnace, this guy here, and now I'm gonna take these covers off. So this front cover on mine comes off pretty easily. However, for me, the low voltage uh, wires are actually back here in this blower system. So I need to take off these two screws right here, and that's where the six in one really comes in handy. So I've taken off the screws and there's that cover coming off. All right, and there is the rest of the furnace. And this guy right here is my motherboard. And again, double check you've unplugged the system or at least turned it off and make sure it is completely and totally off. So here's my system right here. And if we look closely, I can see all the wires that are right here. So I'm gonna have to be careful here. You see two different lines. One of these lines goes to the outside air conditioning unit. The other one right here is what goes to my thermostat. The outside unit usually just has two wires hooked up. You can see it right here. So going to the common and also going to this Y, which is the other half of the air conditioning system. And then you can see on the furnace end of things, here's that blue wire that I was talking about in the, by the thermostat. 
So I'm gonna get this blue wire right here and I'm also gonna hook it up to this common. Now the common already has the white that goes out to the air conditioner. So this is gonna be a second uh, low voltage uh, wire that I'm gonna connect to this. So I'll end up with a white and a blue wire going to this common right here. So now I have my low voltage connected, that common wire, and I put these back on the two covers to the furnace. And I'm still gonna leave it unplugged while I go work on the wires at the thermostat. Important to keep it unplugged. Next, I'll remove that thermostat cover. And then here's the blue wire. So I'm gonna pull it out and we're gonna connect it to this common right here. So you can see I've got that blue hooked up to the common and it looks great. So let's put it back together now. Okay, our final step, now that we have both the wires connected, the units are put back together, the thermostat's put back together, let's plug it in and give it a test. So as I mentioned before, this is where it's really important to have gloves on or go wash your hands again. But if you have your gloves on, and I'm gonna put this cover back on, now is when I've gotten a little bit sweaty and my fingerprints are gonna show up all over. Spend the extra 10 bucks, get these gloves, they work awesome. So now I come back to my thermostat under equipment and you can see it says 24 volt common. So I've made that full 24 volt loop, which is gonna give this nest plenty of power to run and I'll no longer have that circulation problem of it coming on and turning off, coming on and turning off. Hey guys, I hope this video helped you out a bunch. Please be safe if you're gonna work on this. Make sure you turn off all of the equipment before you get to work on it. Check out the link down in the description below. I'll put all these different tools that I use down there. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.